term, we've been hearing this a lot, um, that there's this battle of wills taking place between uh, Christopher Luxon and Winston Peters, particularly over the foreign buyers tax. Is there an elegant way out of this for either man, or is somebody going to have to follow, uh, swallow the dead tax rat here? I would have thought that this presented an elegant way out for uh, Christopher Luxon. Um, there's been a lot of speculation about whether that foreign buyer's tax, you know, after maybe, I think most people accept in the, in the first year because of pent-up demand, because of the foreign buyer ban, you might kind of hit those targets, but a lot of doubts, uh, you know, in the future if, if they assume the Treasury benches for the mini budget, which has already been sort of scaled down in expectations now, now closer to something like an update or an announcement, but if, if they want to book that income from that proposed tax, they have to get that past Treasury and the bean counters there. And that's going to be much harder than just sort of, you know, the bullet train sort of approach that was taken during the election of saying it's a good tax package. So I would have thought that, you know, using using the coalition agreements, using the, the parliament that voters delivered as a, as a reason to come up with an alternative um, was, was a good option. And look, Luxon, only, Luxon and Peters only have to pick up the phone. David Seymour has a huge list of ways that you can save money as a government. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to strengthen it's his really hand. Come in. Those tax yes. rates. So he needs to get this government sorted out, but mm -hmm. he also does need to be desperate. Like he, mm. So one thing you learn in business is that when you're trying to fill positions, you're trying to do to good work and move us forward, mm. you actually have to have the right people in place mm. and you have to have the right policies and your outcomes in place. So as far as everybody go, hurry up and get this government sorted, we know who the Prime Minister is. All the rest of those ministers, they will come in time. Uh, but they do need to uh, get those tax... They promised us tax cuts. Mm -hmm. They promised us more money, more revenue through tax. Uh, they've got to deliver on those in, those in our first three years. But there are way... And there are other important things like business confidence, confidence in the economy. And that National was voted in because we all think that they're the ones that's to take care of us when it comes to economic issues. Mm. So they need to make that our focus because retail spend, there's... The, it is dire out yeah. there, and and being at stuff and and being in our business and seeing the media industry, mm. it is it is so much hard work going. There is, it is there's not a lot of money around, and so we how are we going to stimulate our economy? How are you going to help those that have two two incomes in their homes, but they're right on the breadline? Mm. It's all those really important things that need to help us like in the first three years. It's just focus us on the things that will help the economy and help all of us to get past this difficulty, which is post-COVID and everything else. It's yeah. I just wish them luck. Like, I really... <laughs> it like, is. It I'm is, like, come on. Like, it's it's the confidence. Yeah. Confidence is the big part. So we have it's seen it. some rises in confidence, right, on the, the new government. Yeah. But we just need them to continue to build that. And if they don't put the right people in the right places with the right policies, yeah. we will lose that. Well, somebody who turned up uh, this week, which made me think personally, well, this is a pretty sprawling cluster, is uh, Damien O'Connor at APEC, um, behind Justin Trudeau with Xi Jinping, uh, also Joe Biden... There he is uh, in the, one of the back rows, having the time of his life. But, I mean, we've got to get on with it. It's a weird world we're living in, isn't it, Ben? Well, look, I think, I think that at this point, delay is the friend of the smaller parties. Um, you know, we've seen a couple of these sort of soft deadlines, like APEC, kind of whiz by. Uh, and, you know, Winston Peters doesn't mind. He doesn't mind turning up to the Pullman every day, or not, or turning up to a different city. <laughs> Getting a um, And, you know, and the pressure goes on. You know, we talked about the mini-budget. The mini-budget has now been scaled back, because you literally just don't have enough time at this mm. point before Christmas. So I think that... You know, part of this will sort of shade into tactics, but at the same time, I, I don't think that we should think about you know the kind of public pronouncements and the, the talk about you know who's in what room and how many times they've met. We shouldn't think that's determinative of how the negotiations are going. You know, this is all happening behind closed doors with some updates, and you know, and I think you know we can probably expect something soon. Wonderful. Well, thank you both so much for joining us here this morning uh, on the Nation, and hopefully we'll have a government to discuss soon. Amuri Akina.